Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Packapod Jasper. Here it is, a gorgeous bag. I've had this for about a week now um, and I've been given this um, from Mummy and Little Me. Um, I write a, uh, a blog once a week for the website and in return um, I've been given this to review and I think I get to keep it. Um, so this is the Packapod Jasper. Um, there are quite a lot of bags in the range um, in Packapod. Um, there's all sorts of different variations. Um, this is the very first um, luxury changing bag that I've owned. I usually have the um, pink lining ones. So this is a real treat. As soon as it came through the door last week, um, I was putting all my stuff in it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll talk you through the bag and then I will tell you what I think about it. Um, just in case, you know, you've never sort of seen or heard about the Packapod Jasper before. So in terms of Packapod, um, you know, I've never really liked the Packapod bags that I've seen, apart from the luxury ones. Um, you know, there are a couple in the range that are the luxury leather ones. Um, and each, the Packapods are sort of uh, known for their really good sort of pods inside. Um, you know, so if you're if you're using a pack of pod from when your child is newborn up until the toddlers, um, then there are bits and bobs that are inside the bag that are really really handy. Um, so I'll talk you through the bag first. So um, on the front, um, this is the chocolate colour, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but it is like a really dark chocolate colour. Um, so on the front. You've got a little pocket and there is like a hidden um, like magnet inside so um, it like it closes um, but it is quite small so if you can you can see that there but it is quite small so um, I tend to put my phone in there or any parking ticket anything that I need to hand um, it also has a pack of pod um, sort of gold hardware I think you'd say so it's got like the pack of pod the Packapod logo on there. Um, most of the hardware on the bag is gold, um, which I think is really nice. It's uh, it goes really well with the chocolate colour. Um, on the back, this is where the pods um, are situated. So um, it's got like the little the zips there. So you've got double zips, which is always good. So if you unzip them, that's where the pods live. Um, so you've got two pods, you've got a uh, changing pod and a feeding pod um, so, and what you can do with these, you can actually unclip them, I don't know if you can see them but if you just unclip them you can actually take them out of the bag so if you are having like a day out with um, the family, obviously you've got your toddler in tow and say mummy wanted to go off shopping in a different shop and leave um you, the baby with dad or whoever you can actually take these off and put them on the on your pram handles which i think is an excellent idea um so they just have that clasp there and then you can just clip them onto pram handles so they just sit on the pram so this one is the changing pod and they actually have little tabs like the orange like orange pack a pod orange color i don't know if you can see that um, but they say changing pod. Um, in the back of this, you actually get the changing mat, which is always good with um, like changing bags. Um, it's quite a good size, not as big as other changing mats, but I really like how this has got like it's like an orange felt. Um, so this is where you put um, your your baby sort of your baby's head when you're changing, and it also has like a little. Um, symbol of a, a baby on there so you know that it's a changing mat um i'm guessing that you could probably put this in the wash if it did get a little bit messy um but it's really good and because it folds up and then it goes in the back of that little pod so i'll pop that back in there so that is the changing pod so the changing pod at that actually unzips and it's not just like one whole thing inside you can it's got like little areas and the obviously there's little tabs on there that sort of tell you where to put things um so that has like a little safety pin you can see there it has a little, a little safety pin so I'm, i don't know what you put in there maybe clothes 
um, and then there's um, another little symbol inside it has like a hand and some lotion so maybe I think you put maybe changing um, some um, changing lotion in there um, and then there's like at the back not really handling this very well the back it has like another little um, tag um, it has a picture of a baby and an arrow so I'm guessing you put the nappy sort of in there and then the other side um, it looks like a tub so there's like I think that's where you put some cream and then there's a little bag with it as well uh, I don't know what you put in there maybe I, I don't want to say that you oh clothes right it's got a little bib on there so I'm guessing maybe you put dirty clothes in there I'm not too sure you won't figure it out um i've not actually been using these pods when uh we've been out over the weekend we went to the manchester market and i took the pods out just because we don't really need them um joey doesn't have a bottle during the day so um you know we don't really need any food that needs to be of a certain temperature um but i think these are a really really good idea so that is the changer pod and then next you've got the feeding pod which is the orange and it also um doubles as a backpack for your little one as well so it's got the um like the arm there and again this can be put on the pram so if you didn't want your child like to wear it as a backpack again you can just put it around the pram handles um and this has the feeder pod little tab on there as well i don't know if that's going to show no it's not going to show but anyway it's more or less the same sort of thing but all of this is insulated inside so again the little tab there it's cutlery so you put um, your child's cutlery there if you need to take that out um, and it comes with um, this so that little tab is a bottle so that would wrap around the bottle if you needed it cold or hot um, so again really good idea um i think this is quite good because the backpack is really small so um you know it's perfect for just having like a little walk out and stuff like that so that is the feeding pod so back onto the main bag so it just has the one um sort of arm strap um there and um it then has like a, a small like a carry um handle there which is adjustable and you can actually take that off um so without the pods in at the back um there is like loads of room so what i've been doing is obviously making sure this is all closed and then once i get inside the bag there is like loads of room if you take the the pods out then there's tons of room in the main bit of the bag um, so that's quite a nice material inside like if there were any spillages then you could just wipe that it does have another pocket inside just like a zip pocket if you can see that uh, just that little pocket there and it's got like a, um, a little strap to hook your keys on so you know that they're safe so that is the main area of the bag and you can fit loads in this bag you know we've had it over the weekend and there's just tons of room especially with the pods taken out if you put if you leave the pods in obviously it sort of you know makes it a little bit heavier um and it makes the main area of the bag smaller which some people might prefer because it's easier for you to sort of hunt around and dig around for stuff that you need inside the bag but um I actually quite like the size um, with without the pods in um, and obviously to close the bag you've got the zip um, which is good because it's just got the, the one zip but I found sometimes that the zip sort of um, if it's like the bag is open like that and it doesn't zip like that then you have to sort of make sure that the like the zipper is sort of in like turned inwards so it actually is able to the zip to move along um okay it, this bag also comes with um pram straps but they're on the pram which is in the car which my husband's taken to work um which is great because i didn't know that they actually came with the bag i thought you'd have i'd have to buy them separately and we've used them over the weekend um when we went to manchester and if we're into town and it's really really good because one of the main issues with previous changing bags of mine is just having like the the across the body strap um just 
on the pram handles and it always slips down whereas these pram handles um, you sort of thread them through and then they clip onto um, the thing there um, and it just keeps it secure um, it doesn't slip off it's really really good um, I've actually attached to this bag a pom-pom I just thought it looked really nice this was just a pom-pom that I got free with some um, products that I bought from Superdrug about a month ago um, but I absolutely love this bag um, it is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be I thought it would probably be a bit smaller than this um, but it's an ideal size I think if you were buying this at these retail for two £235 I think depending on where you get it from but um, on the mummy and little me website I think it's the cheapest um, you know if you were investing in this if you had a newborn um, then you know you get so much wear out of it I mean Joey is two and a half now so technically he probably just doesn't need a change of bag at all but I wanted something um, that was a little bit more grown up than the previous change of bags that I've had um this really unless you knew what brand it was you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it was a baby change bag um the leather on it is so nice it's so soft um you know the handle the handle i thought because mm, it is very very tight the handle so i'm not sure how that would go after months or even years of wear um i don't know whether any of the leather would sort of start to sort of crumble off um, but at the moment it's great it doesn't appear to like dig into my shoulder when I'm using it over my arm um, I absolutely think it's a gorgeous bag um, at the moment I probably wouldn't have paid well I wouldn't have been able to pay 200 odd pounds it just wouldn't be in my budget at all um, but I think you know if you're um, pregnant at the moment or you are sort of you've got a newborn and you're on the lookout for a really nice luxury changing bag then i don't think you can get any better than this um because when your child is in the toddler stages then you can just sort of use this as a normal bag um, and i think you know as long as the leather stays in really really good condition then um you know i'd see no problems with reselling this for you know m more or less near what you've paid for it as well um you know i can't really think of any negatives about the bag at all really um you know it really sort of it's really nice to look at it's really nice to use really handy pack a pod have thought about all of the um sort of scenarios that you'll be using the bag with the changing pod and the feeding pod um, it's great that you can take those bits out and then just use the bag normally. Um, I absolutely love this bag. I will be doing like a written review of it as well. Um, but this is the pack pod Jasper. And this is going to be my bag that I use all the time. Even if I get a job in the future, I will probably be using this to take to work with me because I love it that much thank you for watching this um i hope you've enjoyed it um, if you can give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe that would be fantastic thank you very much for watching bye